Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. It's Friday, people. Last day of the week here, 20 September. Sterling's focus, obviously, yesterday. We had our ding-dong Brexit level, 125.25 break. Um, core long Sterling seems to be the way couple other chart points I want to show you today where there will be some action first is this sterling yen um, these highs here up at 135.70 are interesting 66 and a half high on the 18th 67 high on July 25th uh, yesterday dojied um, with a 51 high so we're 40 42.3 now Sterling Yen looks set to go higher. Uh, we have no clue what's going on in Brexit. We know Yonkers had some positive news, uh, but we're just leaning on the technicals here. You got to be long pounds in front of 125, the figure. Pretty straightforward. Um, Euro Sterling also is going to get through 88, the figure today. The cross Sterling action has worked pretty well. Sterling Swiss obviously is. Um, up at 124.5 uh, but today we're going to focus on sterling yen and uh, remain core short cable again I don't claim to understand how this all of a sudden looks like it's going to be settled uh, and I don't really care at this point we're just trading numbers now so you're trading P&L and you're trading numbers um, if you got long at 25 and you're worried, sell some at 57. Um, your average is then below the figure, and then just sit uh, because you know if this is fixed, uh, this has a ways to go. 125.76 is first resistance. The high yesterday and today has been 60. Take a look at our friend Euro Dollar. We've been waiting for this uh, trend line to break now for well, ever since this day here. So since the 13th of September, Friday the 13th. That was a week ago. Seven days we've been waiting for this to break. Every day it goes down a little bit more. A lot of people have drawn this uh, in a lot of ways. Each charting charting package has different highs and lows just by a pip or so so it does make the entry a little bit funny it looks like today um, the ding dong number is going to be 76 we clear 76 we should get through um, this line and there should be some uh, technical trend following buying we're expecting so watching this line waiting for triggers in euro Dollar yen, I don't really understand. Uh, printed another 80 low. Looks looks marginally um, vulnerable. I don't pretend to understand what's going on dollar yen, and we don't have we don't have a, a dog in this fight. But 80 looks like an important number, and more important number would be 45. Uh, but if dollar yen does go through 80, that'll give us uh, a little more confidence, as in. DXY is getting hit. Euro dollar um, could see the upside that we're looking for. While we're on the note of dollar yen and dollar Swiss at 99.14 and Euro Swiss at 109.60 um, and gold at uh, gold futures at 11. Um, it just seems weird that all of these uh, safe haven metrics uh, are kind of bid. And it gives me cause for pause. 15, 12 gold futures. Uh, why, why, why are these things catching a bid? Is it dollar weakness? Um, or is it concern? Uh, I don't know. So it makes me skeptical. The reason I bring it up is it makes me skeptical of this ES chart. Uh, we printed up to 24. We talked about topside through 14 yesterday that we were not involved with, but we knew the uh, 
the machines would start taking over. We did print a 24 and a half high, but then we dogeed again. So again, uh, there will be action above 24 here. This sort of matches up with this high over here, which was 25.75. This is 24.50. Uh, but our preferred side is left still. So if we make a new low today through 90, we're selling and really um, excited to sell through 29.80. So we shall see. We're square uh, equities now, but we remain cautious. Bonds are neutral here. I mean, we're core short, but haven't gone down, right? Bonds did not go down when stocks uh, went up yesterday. There's some caution. There's like an underlying feeling of caution out there that you just have to you have to take into consideration uh, when you're looking at this stock market chart. Uh, again, it could be weak dollar. Uh, also, it could be weak dollar plus underlying feelings of caution. Anyway, food for thought. Um, as far as other exact trade ideas today, we're still core long, and we recommend core long your Aussie. It gets a bit trickier here. Um, we did have a little double top here at 163, and that's a kind of a trap pick bricked at 12. We're buyers today down at uh, 162, the figure. So I don't know if we're going to get down there, but core long this year Aussie we like Aussie yesterday after that employment number actually beat but within the number uh, there was weakness has turned Aussie dollar heading lower while euro dollar heads higher means euro Aussie higher not a whole lot else to say Core short fixed income we still like. Uh, here's the Boons. Here's ZN. Doing a little sideways motion here. The top of this sideways motion is actually going to be 130.25. Uh, the new pivot on the downside, we'll call it uh, this point here, 128.12. So you just want to trade core short here and trade it. So you have your core. And maybe you can sell some and buy some, sell some and buy some. So hopefully the average on your core heads as close to 132.05 as possible. Don't really have a whole heck of a lot else to say. There's no data today. Uh, I think they have a calendar on this thing, yeah. No, yeah, see, no data today. Um... We get stuff on the 23rd where we have Turkish Consumer Confidence. Awesome. Uh, consumer Confidence in Europe, end of our day. Meaningless, no data. We do have PMIs on Monday. So nothing to really to sink our teeth in there. We're watching the news feeds and we're watching these charts, right? 76 is the bingo number in Euro. Uh, Got to watch this um, sterling yen at 135.70. Uh, and then the rest of it, we're just playing with what we've got. We're buyers of Euro Aussie, core long. We're sellers of fixed income, core short. And we're watching dollar yen at 107.80. Just, we're not playing it, but we're just watching it. It's important. And equities, um, we're going to sell. Uh, through 90, 2990. Far away, so it's no drama, but um, we'll have to see. We do recognize that there is negotiations going on in China, so there could be China news. Uh, obviously, bad news at these levels in the stock market uh, will have more impact than good news, so just be careful of the news. I've said enough now. Have a great Friday, people. Make some dough. Go ahead. I dare you. Uh, enjoy your weekends, and I will see you on Monday. Ciao.